Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147, the legacy of the Metal Wars, when man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire. Stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Bio Dread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one man attack force. Major Matthew. Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer, pilot chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dredd's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. This is Freedom One speaking, the voice of the East Coast Resistance Movement. Valiant fighters in Quadrant 9 destroyed one column of Dread Troopers today. No casualties. Intensified sweeps by Sauron in Sector 1. All Resistance fighters are warned to remain undercover. Just received word of a stunning blow against a secret Dread project by Captain Power and his unit. They are an inspiration to us all. You sure this is the right time? Positive. But she missed her last broadcast. I hope nothing's happened. Freedom One is back on the air after an emergency relocation. I was nearly captured by dread troops, but managed to escape with the aid of Cypher, one of our bravest and most dedicated leaders. Cypher, I owe you one. I know that it cost you sacrifice is a word we all know too well there is no one within the sound of my voice who has not lost someone a wife husband children friend lover but there is one thing we must never lose Without hope, we'll give up when we're tired and hungry, and it seems as if chaos and madness must overwhelm us. Troopers, we've been hit! Turn that thing off! No! I like the sound of her voice. Last thing I'm here. Hope is the flame that burns in our hearts. It is warmth when the soul is cold. It is light when darkness surrounds us. I end today's broadcast with a special message. I summon the thunder. Repeat. Mentor, prepare to receive I by the thunder. Prepare to receive. Unscramble microburst. And display coded location on screen. That's where she is. Summon the thunder means come at once. Something you set up with her? Yeah. I've talked to her a few times by tight beam comm link. Gave her some information and she relayed some back from East Coast Resistance. All right. Let's hit it. I can't wait to see the face go through that voice.
door, kid. Uh, thanks. Funny thing about troopers, how they always seem to be hanging around. What is this, a junk festival? Thanks. They must have gotten a fix on that last transmission. Anything broken? Nothing that won't fix itself. Thank you for coming. We've got to get out of here quickly, so I'll get right to business. This is my transmitter. Beauty, isn't it? Our one real chance of uniting the resistance. I have made contact with the leaders of the five most powerful resistance forces in this country and proposed a meeting. Too risky. If Dredd would find out... He won't. Not if we move quickly enough. And that's why I need you, Captain. There's no way you could appear in the places you have without a teleportation device of some kind. You seem to know an awful lot about us. Maybe too much. Knowledge is survival. I am a survivor. But if you're not interested, I can always find another way. All right, suppose we agree to provide transport. What makes you think the other resistance leaders will come? You, Captain. They know what you've done against Dredd. And each one of them has seen you or a member of your team. And they've agreed to accept you as overall leader of the resistance. Together we can beat Dredd once and for all. I think that's worth a little risk. They're standing by for a follow-up broadcast. What should I tell them? All right, we'll do it. This is Freedom 1 to the 5. Freedom 1 to the 5. The torch is lit. Repeat, the torch is lit. Sand is arranged for her own transport, and Gundar asked specifically for pilot. That leaves Blaze, Cypher, and Ivanier. You know where they are? Where's the meeting place? Sector 23. I'll monitor the area and transmit exact coordinates by type beam as each leader arrives. It's safer that way. Tank, you take Cypher? Right. Scout, Blaze. Hawk, you got Ivanier. I'll take Freedom 1 to the meeting place. <laughs> Not necessary, Captain. I've got a groundhopper stash nearby. Dredd's troops will be all over this area. Why don't we just call it a precaution? By the way, my real name is Christine Larrabee. How about you? Jonathan Power. <laughs> You're kidding. Power? I thought, I thought that was some kind of silly code name. Like Freedom One. How much further to the meeting point? About ten clicks. I think you'll recognize it. I do recognize it. Very clever, Christine. This Dread base was abandoned during the Metal Wars. Which means Dread won't be monitoring it now. Shall we? This thing gets heavier by the minute. I better get on the monitor. You stay here and watch the transmitter? I'll let you know as soon as your people arrive. I better go with you. Oh, thanks, but I'm a big girl. Besides, transmitter's more important. Don't ever say that, Christine. Not even as a joke. Never say a machine is more important than a human. You're an innocent. You know that? Innocent? I've been called a lot of things, but... Oh, I know. You've seen a lot, been through hell, but it's still there. Everything. In an hour, we will have them all in our hands. The five leaders, Power and his group, all of them. I have spent months building up my reputation and my credibility, and now... You question my judgment over unit. Forgive me, my lord. It was only my dedication to your divine plan. It was necessary that I speak with you. 
There is a new development, and I could not risk a message while you were with power. Do you recognize this man? Elzor Pulaski. He was captured a few years ago and I took part in his interrogation. I didn't realize he had survived it. Gandhar was killed. Elza Pulaski is now in command. Then he'll be coming in Gundar's place? The minute he sees me... An unfortunate coincidence, but one that we will deal with. Which of Power's team is flying him in? The woman called Pilot, my lord. The one who deserted the dread youth and betrayed the will of the machine. For which she will die. That is the fate of all traitors and rebels. Praise the machine. Glory to Lord Dread. Cypher? It's me. Still big as a war bot and twice as ugly. It's good to see you too, Beanpole. I'm here for Gundar. Gundar is dead. I'm Elzer, his replacement. I'm sorry. He was a good man. We're going on this? Power on! Whenever you're ready. I'm transmitting your rendezvous coordinates now. Please acknowledge. Acknowledge. New coordinates received and locked in. We'll see you soon. She will be here soon. You must act quickly, my lord. Blastar will deal with the treacherous youth leader Chase and the rest. Be ready to signal his troops the moment our rebel flies are within your web. Understood, my lord. Place for a meeting. It's a trap. over unit and do not disappoint me good to see you again captain great day for the resistance yes indeed Anything wrong, Captain? Pilot. She should have been here before you. Not to worry, Captain. Short man? Gundar's people just chirped in. There was a slight delay, but she'll be here any moment. 
Why don't you uh, get the meeting started? I'll watch out for her. You want to explain this? Certainly, Captain. But I'm afraid I haven't got the time. And yours has just run out. Corporal Chase reporting, sir. She's all set. What's going on, Captain? It's an ambush. It's a setup, the whole thing. She's a dread over unit. She was using this. Short range transmitter. Probably to alert troops, which means we're in trouble. They'll know they've been in a fight. No. We can't afford a battle on their terms. We've got to get these people out of here. Pilot, can you manage? Take them out the back way. I'll keep the dreads busy and make it out on foot later. I'll never get back to you on time. Then I'll have the element of surprise on my side. Now move it. And you heard the man? Let's move it. See you soon, John. Give him hell. You better come with me. She won't be needing this. What about her, Captain? Take her to the passages. Their psych people might be able to get some information out of her. It is useless to fight. We will win. The will of the machine cannot be denied. So much for innocence. job to do, Hawk. Yeah. Tune in to 150 megahertz. Won't be back. But the voice of the resistance will stay on the air. I make that pledge and I mean to keep it. This is the new voice of the resistance. Freedom 2. And if anything happens to me, there's going to be a Freedom 3. And 4. And 5. We didn't start this war, but we're going to finish it.
closing in on Brett. Watch for base stations. Still got plenty of power. Energy systems full. 